Hi all, in this video we are going to create a uh, custom annotation for uh, REST validation. For that purpose I have already prepared one API, POST API, with request body. The request body is having three parameters, first name, last name, age. And uh, let's put uh, some uh, basic constraints on, the, on these fields. So first thing I need to do is to add a new dependency. The dependency is uh, Spring Boot Starter Validation. Let me add it. Spring Boot Starter Validation. And uh, the group is uh, org.springframer.boot. So we have this dependency. Let's update the request detail with some basic validation. So we will add not blank for first name, not blank for last name, and uh, not null for age. And we need also to add uh, uh, annotation on the request detail uh, validated. So basically these constraints to be validated. Let's start the application. So application is started, so we can see uh, we are only logging the request detail and returning uh, 200. OK, let's delete the log and do a request. I will add h5. So I have 200. OK, you can see uh, the detail is logged. I will try now to add for h like now. And let's see what's going to happen. We have a 400 bet request with a default message age must not be null. Okay, so now let's create the custom uh, annotation. What we are going to do is let's say we want to have annotation mature so to validate if the age is 18 or greater than 18. So uh, Let's create uh, this uh, annotation. It's going to be mature. It's going to be defined interface. Let's first put some annotation on here. So we have first a target that basically we're going to specify that it will be field and a parameter. Also, let's add the retention. Retention will be a uh, uh, runtime. Yes. What we need also to do, uh, let's add the constraint validation, where we are going to define by which class will be this annotation validated. Let's say mature validate dot class I will create later this and let's add uh, this documented annotation and uh, let's put some uh, fields like string message this will be uh, the error message let's add like default age must be great there then 17 so 18 or above let's uh, write the group of constraints oops where the fold will be empty checked this and we have also uh, to define the payload so basically if we have uh, additional information about the annotation so we will add the extends payload 
payload and default value again to add this. So uh, we have defined the notation. Let's implement now the validator. So uh, for implement validator, it's a simple, uh, we should implement a constrained validator. That is basically uh, this. And what we need to, to specify here, first is the interface. Okay. After that uh, should be the value. So we need to implement, so is valid. So what we need to check, let's type this age. We need to check to return if age is greater than 70. So this is what we need to do. So we can add more business logic here. Uh, let's now import the annotation here and restart the project. Uh, I have an issue here. It's uh, let's see what's happening. Uh -huh. We need uh, to provide like okay. So let's run it. The project. So we started. So with now we will have uh, oh, five hundred. It's something, uh, oh, now we have an exception here. So age, uh, like in value from null. Okay, we can uh, resolve that. And what we can do here is add a five. So we'll have a bit request. So the bit request for this is saying age must be greater than 17. So let's try with 18. And now we have 200, okay. And we can see that uh, this is uh, locked here. So that means that this annotation now we can add on all API uh, request details that we want the age to be greater than uh, 17. So for person to be mature. Uh, thank you for watching the video and see you soon. Bye-bye.